Hi marketers, this is a quick demo video on how to connect your Netline portal campaign to Salesforce. As a note before we begin, form creation steps are the same in Salesforce Original and Salesforce Lightning. So we'll start on the homepage and go to Setup. Type in Web to Lead, making sure to use hyphens, in the Quick Find box, and then click Web to Lead. Create Web to Lead form. Then we'll add or remove fields we need or don't need. The return URL is the home web address. Next, uncheck Enable Spam Filtering because your Netline form will take care of filtering. Click Generate. And this is the form HTML. It's helpful to copy and paste into Word to review the values. In your portal account, go into your campaign and scroll to Step 9. In the Fulfillment step, click Yes to enable connector, and then click Edit Setup. Go back to your form and grab the form action URL and copy it up to the question mark. We'll be posting that into the URL field. Method should remain as post. And now we edit to match what's in our actual form. So to match this example, we need to remove a few values. It's important to remove fields that aren't on the Salesforce form as the connection will not work if there's no corresponding field. So going back to the form, we'll plug in all the values from Salesforce for these fields. So after name equals, we'll copy and paste first underscore name, and then repeat the process for all the other fields. So in the next section, we're removing these default custom questions because they're not on our form. So if you created one in your form, you'll add one here. Next, we'll add the constant field. So go back to the URL we cut off before the question mark and take encoding and paste it into your field at the left. Then go back to the URL and take UTF-8, paste it into the value field at the right. Add another constant and take OID from the input type HTML, then the code after value. The next constant is the RET URL and the website. So because everything is case sensitive, it's very recommended to just copy and paste these values. Lastly, we added lead source to our form, which is a common hidden value. These need to be added as constant values. So we'll copy and paste lead underscore source paste it at left and we have a pick list in this example so we'll use email inquiry if you have a pick list of values they'll need to be entered here submit and test to preview which information is being sent this can be edited for the test So we will submit and then check Salesforce to make sure everything came over correctly. So it looks like everything came through perfectly. So next you'll just click yes to release the connector and advance to the next step. This saves the connection and then you're finished.